Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use ng-rock on your Ubuntu operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is ng-rock, ng-rock is a tool that provides a secure tunneling to your local development environment or server. So basically it allows you to expose a local server. For example, you are running a local server on your Ubuntu operating system and you want to expose it to the internet. So basically it allows you to expose your local server that is making it accessible for testing or debugging purposes, right? So if you have a application which is running locally on local host on your uh, Ubuntu operating system, you can expose it on internet and test it over internet, right? So let's see how we can install ng-rock. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for ng-rock. And the first link which will appear here will be ng-rock. And when you go inside this website, you will be able to see this download button here. Now ng-rock has a pricing model also. So for developers, which are bringing the new projects to life, it's uh, free to use. That means uh, we can test our applications uh, and in testing phase, we can use it for uh, free. But if you want to use it regularly or for enterprise use, you need to pay. So we are going to use the free version here. So just click on download here and then click on Linux. And there are a few different ways of installing uh, ng-rock on your uh, Ubuntu operating system. So when you will scroll down, you can see this method, install ng-rock via snap. So if you are running the latest version of Ubuntu, it comes with the snap package manager. And using this snap package manager, you can install ng-rock very easily by using this single command, which is snap install ng-rock, which is uh, what we are going to use. So let me open the terminal, just press Control Alt T for that. And then here we are going to give this command, which is snap install ng-rock, but we are going to run it with the sudo privileges. So I'm going to just write sudo snap install ng-rock here and then give my Ubuntu's password and then press enter, which is going to install ng-rock on your Ubuntu operating system. So just wait for a few seconds. And once ng-rock is installed, you need to log in to the ng-rock website to get the authentication token, right? Once you get this authentication token, you can test it via this uh, command, which is ng-rock http at. So let's check it first and let's see what it does. So I'm going to give this command and you can see it has already started the tunnel for my local host. And now I can use my local host on this URL, which is this one, right? So I can just uh, copy this URL and open it on my browser. And once I open it on my browser, it's going to uh, just show me this kind of interface. And what it says, it says error ng-rock because we haven't authenticated the ng-rock using the ng-rock auth token, right? So for that, you can click on the sign up uh, button, which is on the ng-rock download uh, website itself, you can see add authentication and you have the sign up button or you can uh, click on this button also, which is also going to just redirect you to sign up page. Here you need to give three things, name, email and password, which is simple. So let me create a new account here. And once you give uh, your uh, email and password, uh, you will be redirected to this page which says welcome to ng-rock here you can uh, add your role so for example i'm going to select app developer and then uh, i will use ng-rock to access the software for example 
and then my own network here and then for my developers for customers myself so i want to use it for myself right so i will just select myself and then click on continue and then you have this kind of interface here right so you can see now here that there is this command which is available which is ngrock config add authentication and then you can give this authentication token so just copy this command and then paste it on your terminal which is going to authenticate your ngrock right so i'm going to clear the terminal and then give this command and then press enter which is going to give me this kind of output which says authentication saved to configuration and this is the path uh, to your ngrock configuration so uh, if you want to see your authentication file it's in this location so once again we are going to give this command which is ngrock http 80 which means that means we are exposing port 80 for our local host to the outside internet using ngrock so i'm going to press once again enter and now this time it says you need to verify your account so there is this authentication email which will be sent to your email address and you need to click on verify before running this command so i just verified my email account by clicking on the url which is sent by ngrock and once again let me clear the terminal and run that command once again and this time it works so before using ngrock you need to authenticate your ngrock with your auth token using this uh, command which i have shown you which is ngrock config add authentication and then your authentication token so you can see you are online now i can click on this uh, url so i'm going to just press control and then click on this url which is going to open the url on my uh, default browser and now my local host port 80 is exposed to internet so now everything is working but what's the practical use of exposing this so let's say i'm a developer i have created a very simple server so i have this sample node.js server which is running on port 3000 uh, you can find this uh, basic node.js code anywhere basically what it does is it runs on localhost port 3000 and when i open this uh, uh, localhost port 3000 it prints hello world and i want to expose this uh, server which is running on my localhost you can see 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 i want to expose this to the internet so using the internet i want to just give this uh, url for my uh, local server which is running locally to my friend to test it right on his computer so what i can do here is now so let me just uh, press ctrl c to come out of the ng rock and here once again instead of uh, port 80 i can write 3000 here so ng rock http 3000 because i want to now expose the port 3000 where my server is running on the local host that's why i'm uh, just giving 3000 here and then press enter and now my port 3000 is exposed to internet you have this url here so now when i click on this url you will see uh, this kind of message and then i can click on visit uh, website and you can see my local host server which is running on port 3000 is now available via this url to others if i share this url with my friend he can use this url and test my local server which is running locally on my uh, ubuntu operating system and see how it's responding 
So in the development phase, this tool is very useful when you want to share or test or expose your local application to internet to test something or debug something. So that's how you can install and use ng-rock on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.